Welcome to the climactic finale of the NASA Northeast Time Attack Championship. Returning to their roots at Lightning in New Jersey Motorsports Park, the Pasney team stands poised for greatness. With all three Subaru Time Attack contenders dominating the top five for pole position, today marks the ultimate challenge of their expertise. While for others, it's a test of their willingness to embrace the inherent risks of racing. You know the drill. Anything that you want to do, do it today. That guy gonna take the picture with the trophy, no you. Do anybody have a question for today? Looking back at the entire season, can you describe it in one word? One word, man, I got so many words. I use one. Uh, discouraging. Should I elaborate? What's up, guys? <laughs> Captain's log, I crashed session one. Tires were too cold, pressure too high. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Turn seven, which has been Spin City, uh, caught me outside. You know what I'm saying? We had to get a little active, did some activities. The headlight delete was pushed in, the rod was bent. Uh, it's still a little bent, but I think it's just tension. Uh, as far as whether or not it can drive, it can. So I don't know if I'm gonna hit a PB circumstantially, but uh, I will still get points today. No, I think maybe best. Come on, boys. Whoa! Do you measure your wiener from your butthole? Yeah, always from the back. Big, big boy. From I go bottom, from my yeah. neck. What are you talking about? <laughs> from back from here. I go from my from neck. Front? Have you seen it? I don't know. If it you know goes what? all the way to my neck and all the way. Through. The wiener's just the, the end of your spine. It starts right. here. <laughs> the tail, the tail got moved from here to the front. We had a tail. And it just wasn't efficient to reproduce, so we had to go to the front. You probably <laughs> still have the tail, like we'll wrap top. Hey, hey. Uh, show we'll me your tail. Don't talk right about now. my fucking tail. Show us your tail. I, uh, the first session was just wacky. I was. We haven't been here in a while, like over a year. This used to be my like my go-to track down there, and I was like, I don't remember any of this. It was a mess. But it's coming back to me. It was also super slick. I didn't want to go nuts. Just like get my shit back together. So I'm gonna do one more session with the old tires and then I'll put the new tires on. I wanna do one more like practice session. And then my next session is gonna be my all-in session. I think I get a 110 this session. 110 like no. We'll see. see. Yo, looking back at the entire season, can you describe it in one word? Frustrating. What was your target for the last race? I wanted to obviously secure the championship for the season, but also really wanted to win the day. You got hit? Someone yeah. hit you? Yeah. Oh, that's a problem. You should like figure this out because you have no rim. Yeah, he hit me. Right there. Well, you have like Which no lip on your rim. Yeah, broke it. It was the BRZ. I don't know. Dog. What? I got crashed. How? It didn't she take? Oh. Um, Who was it? Do you know? It was the BRZ. I hope he's okay. He hit me in the front end. I don't know. Oh, know while him. you were spinning? Were you spinning? No, he hit me and then I spawned. Oh. Yeah, I hit my hoop. BRZ. Is it bad? Yeah. yeah look, look at the wheel. The rim's gone. What do you mean the rim's gone? No, there's no lip on the rim. No, the actual rim is oh. gone, not the wheel. <laughs> Weird. Something about NTO 3s Joe just can't keep them together. <laughs> <laughs> Something about was, those NTO 3s 
the, the BRZ was really momentum driving and I was like letting him know like after like the hill because you shouldn't really pass over the off camber over the hill and then I just just came in and just fucking T-boned me and I was like yeah T-bone you or just like I just yeah, like, hit me right here I, I came over the hill and I saw you and you're going like this oh. I'm like oh I hope he's okay <laughs> I mean he, he like clapped you he T-boned me that's a carbon doors now racing it no, this is, this is a BRG fault. I don't know, I'm not mad, no one's hurt. Car no, but it's just sucks. sucks. You need a door and a wheel. Yeah, yeah. wheels, like, yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, I mean, blue doors are I'm easy to come problem. by. The chassis is not fucked up, right? I don't, well, the door doesn't open because the door car. Enough, but look at the, if you look at the back, this wheel is now straight, and that wheel's still well, camera. No, that's fucked up. No, the, all those arms and shit fucking out of whack now. Yeah, so I went over the rumble strips to turn one, and I there's something going on here that must have shorted a wire. Like I got a TPS code, and it wouldn't. It went into limp mode. I had to like limp it back. Yeah, you were cruising. So I have to fix that. I was trying to catch up. I gotta learn to drive better. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I gotta do. The car is good. One of those weekends. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say? I was going over. I you know the. FRS or BRZ or whatever is 8.6. He was really momentum driving, like where I was trying to get the car to rotate. So I was like, there's an over a hill off camber and right before the bridge, mm -hmm. right? And I was like, take it, you know, because no one should be passing TT. Yeah. yeah. And then I go to like take the turn and it was like, boop. I was like, geez. Just got yeeted off track. Yeah, I was like, I don't know. I don't get hurt. Not like a sour puss. Yeah, still, I don't still drive. Not like what are you gonna say? What am I gonna do? Yeah. Like that's what I make lemonade, right? I'm not dead. Exactly. Colin's gonna take off his wheels. I'll use those, and then keep pushing. Just I can keep driving. At least that's the whole idea. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? All right, you're just gonna go in and fill out the report. No problem. No, uh, This is who you have to I'm sorry. You gave me a point back. Yeah, I didn't think you were gonna take over the hell and help me return. During the race weekend, what happened on and off track, okay? Uh, the three hours of arguing because I didn't think it was fair. Any incident between two drivers results in the consequence or both, but you know, politics, I guess, would be what they are. The reality of it is I hadn't expected that someone would take that point by. Uh, in a safe place, he took it over the hill on a blind off camera return, and it's either I go there and that, or I just do what I had to do. Whatever. Anyway, I got T-boned. So at your discretion, right? Point by is there at your discretion? So you decided it was a good idea to take a point by off camber over a hill. So I turned too fast. You crashed into me as I was the driver no, no. ahead. I have it on video. You closed door on it. We are not racing wheel to wheel, you understand that, right? It's a time yeah, attack. In your time attack, is that the, the fastest line for you? Do you think that was yeah. the best opportunity for you? Yeah. To pass you to pass me. Right. But see, you didn't see me on the right at all? I did see you, that's why I gave you the point by. I didn't think you were going to take it over the hill. Is that what you learned? Yeah. In I mean, time attack? Different. On the next episode, all three contenders are on the edge of victory. But with considerable setbacks, Colin has major wiring issues with his car, which may hold him back from winning the race day. Joe's racing incident doesn't get taken lightly and may affect his upcoming 2024 season. And Devin has a near fatal experience on track. Who will be the driver to place the team onto the podium?